everybody, I'm Unremarkable, and welcome to my Terraria Summoner Guide setup. Okay, so, basically, I, this is my world that I'm in, yes. I am currently, the, uh, I guess, pre-Moon Lord, I guess is what you would call it. I've defeated every boss except Moon Lord so far. And I decided to go for a Summoner class setup just because I thought it would be cool. And a lot of people say, Summoner isn't good, oh, it's not as good as the other classes. Well, probably, but I still think it's fun and it gives you a nice little challenge in the game. So this is my little, my little shrine to all of the items you're gonna want in your Summoner's journey. Okay, so to start off with, in hard mode, or pre-hard mode, I mean, there's not really a whole lot of great summoner weapons in general it's just not a good class so to start off with you're gonna want to just do whatever other class you want personally I did a ranger off class kind of and I kinda keep that throughout you know having a nice ranged weapon with summoner is just nice in my opinion but also you, as you can see from my terra blade I do like to have a little bit of uh, some melee but anyway to start off with let me get some of my my guys out of here. So to start off with, once you get to this stage in the game, you're gonna want the oopsie. I didn't want to get rid of my blade. You're gonna want the slime staff. So this is gonna be the first summoner item really that you can get. Now it's pretty hard to get, but there is a pretty easy farm that you can do to get it, and I will show you that. Alright, and that farm is right here. Now it's pretty simple. So I only found one slime statue, but this is all you're going to want to do. You just got to explore down in your caverns and everything until you find at least one slime statue. Get a couple of one second timers. And if I pull out my... Okay, Stardust Dragon, you need to get out of here for a sec. If I pull out my grand design, you can see I just have them all hooked up to that. And you just leave it there and it just keeps killing them. Not only is this a great source of gel if you ever run out, which I don't know how you could run out of gel in Terraria, but also, you just AFK here, and the nice thing about having Summoner is you can have your minion just floating around, killing anyone else who might get in your way, while you just sit here and farm slimes until you get the slime staff. So I let mine run overnight once when I was trying to get the slime staff, also partially because the slime staff is great for money farms but that's besides the point <laughs> so you can just let this run overnight I got three slime staffs after letting my computer run overnight it was pretty great so to get back so this that is the slime staff now I'll summon a couple of him just so you can see <laughs> oh look how cute they are <laughs> They're so doofy. Oh, I love them. They're so cute. How could you not love the baby slimes? Okay, so that's the slime staff. So I have an honorable mention honorable mention of the imp staff. Now this is what I personally used pre-hard mode. It just summons a couple of little a couple of all these dudes. Which they're pretty nice. I use them to fight the wall. These are found in uh the underworld chests and you're gonna need to get a shadow key and just open up a bunch of those until you get one I believe let me double check before I just talk out of my butt because I actually have no idea if that's what it is pretty sure that's what it is nope I lied it's crafted from hellstone bars <laughs> never mind hellstone bars gets lots of those so why don't I tell you how to get those since that's just gonna be the easiest. So Hellstone Bars is gonna be from Hellstone, which you get from the Underworld, and Obsidian. So yeah, that's a lot of great pre wall of flesh gear anyway. So yeah, that's my honorable mention. But yeah, like I said, pre hard mode, there's not a whole lot to do with the summoner, which is why you're gonna want other good items to get you going now okay the armor that you're gonna want for pre-hard mode which I didn't get because I didn't I wasn't fully committed to this yet is gonna be the B armor which can I take it off maybe do I have to just, no, I just mine it off okay so oopsie put that back you're gonna want to use the B armor which they are all can be crafted from a drop you get from Queen B 
So this is going to be a great thing to farm right away. It's farm. I think I defeated two queen bees and I got enough, more than enough to make these. So it shouldn't be too bad. Now each of them increases your minion damage by 4% and increases your max number of minions. Which you can tell is a pretty common theme in this. So if I just take off my tiki armor and I put on the queen bee armor, we can see this is what your wall of flesh side up, setup might be. You just have a max of, oh, why don't I take off my, let me take off any items that will impact that. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, so you can have a max of three baby slimes then, which isn't super great, but it is what it is. So we, we put those. Okay, so next is your, once you get into hard mode, this is the first thing you wanna do. So right after beating the wall of flesh, you're gonna wanna get the spider armor here. This is what I used for quite a while. So the spider armor, uh, I would just find a place underground, you will find one where spiders spawn and just farm them until you get the spider fangs and you can craft these just at a anvil. The spider mask increases your max number of minions and increases minion damage by 6%. Number of minions, 6%. Number of minions, 6%. Now this is some pretty nice armor. Not only that, you can get it right away in hard mode. And they are, the spiders right away in hard mode are a little hard to farm. But it's worth it to get it right away. Because you're going to use this for quite a while. And you can also craft... Why didn't I get both? Okay, well, that's weird. You can get the queen spider staff and the nasty spider staff. So, I'm gonna put on that armor just because. So, the spider staff, you just get these little spiders, and oh, I miss my little spider buds. Now, they are pretty cute. They're just, you know, they just follow you around, kill them. If we open up this door to here, boom. Look at that. So not only are these going to be what you're going to use for the mechanical bosses, which Summoner isn't super great against the mechanical bosses, so you're going to want a good bow. But this is what you're going to use for the Summoner bosses and for Plantera. This is like two different stages of the game, which is why I suggest anyone gets it right away, because you're going to use these items quite a bit. Now. After Plantera, you're going to be pre-Golem, which is when Summoner kind of gets really hard to get. So if I take, this is going to be the Spooky Armor, which is crafted from, what's it crafted from? <laughs> I know what it's crafted from, I'm just, I'm dumb and I can't think of it right now. From uh, Spooky Wood, right? Spooky Armor. Yeah, from Spooky Wood. So Spooky Wood is going to be dropped from Splinterlings and Morning Woods during the Pumpkin Moon event. So I highly suggest you look up how to make, uh, what's it called? Come on. The, goodness me, I can't think of words today. <laughs> the Pumpkin Moon. Make a Pumpkin Moon event farm. Because this Spooky Armor, this is actually what I use right now. So... <laughs> I'll just put this right back on. So I would just make a farm from it. Not only is it good for a bunch of other great items, you get spooky wood, which I just use as my normal wood now, because why not? And it's pretty, pretty nice. Let's read the stats on it. Each of them increases your max number of minions and increases minion damage by 11%, which is pretty great. And the item you're gonna wanna use is the Xeno Staff. So these spawns, these little, these little guys. Oh, look how cute they are. So the Xeno Staff, right? This is when you use. No, not the Xeno Staff. I lied. That's after. You're going to use the Deadly Spear Staff, which you can get from... <laughs> I'm horrible at doing these. <laughs> go back, go back. The Deadly Spear Staff, which has a chance of dropping from Deadly Spears during the solar eclipse event that's what it is yeah so during the solar eclipse you're gonna want to farm a bunch of those events so you can get the deadly spears these are pretty good I think this one I have demonic on it it has 90 summoning damage 
is pretty darn good. So if I put the item back in its frame, so after this you're gonna keep using the tiki armor, which, or not the tiki armor, the spooky armor. So you're gonna use all that to fight Golem. After Golem, this is gonna be your pre-lunar event. So this is what you're gonna want right before you start the lunar events. So you're gonna wanna get the Xeno Staff, which is what I showed. So the Xeno Staff uh, summons the UFOs like I showed, and it comes during the Martian Madness event. So I had to use I had to do the Martian Madness event multiple, multiple, multiple times to get this. And I was so happy when I finally got it. But the sad thing about it is you don't use it for long. I mean, it depends how long you're going to wait before you're going to fight the lunar events. But personally, I go right into the lunar events. And then you're going to want to go right for which... Okay, you're going to want to get the Stardust Staff, which is going to be the summoning weapon you get. So you're going to want... You need 18 Stardust Fragments. So go right for the Stardust Pillar and take that out so you can get your Stardust Dragon, which is what I use currently. And look how nice he is. He's so strong and just takes out anything. I summon him during all of my... whenever I'm playing, honestly. But I keep him with me when I'm farming, mostly AFKing, just because, for the most part, there's nothing that can really touch you while you have him around. And you do have a couple of other items that you can equip, which I'll just show you, which I use personally. The Papyrus Scarab increases your max number of minions. The Pygmy Necklace increases your max number of minions. And the Summoner's Emblem. Which the Summoner's Emblem is the most annoying one to get, but it is nice. It gives you plus 15 increased summon damage. You have to farm the Wild Flash a couple of times. I just created another world and just kept killing the Wild Flash until I got it. Now. These are going to be all your other things. Summoning, to what, what, uh, bewitching. Bewitching tables, bewitching tables, bewitching tables. They are going to be your best friend in whatever boss you do. It gives you for nine minutes, it gives you one more summon, which for the summoner, one more summon can make the difference in any battle. It is my favorite. You can buy them from the witch doctor eventually and otherwise you find them in the dungeon and just get as many of them as you can have. And this is my other honorable mention, is the magic staff of the Frost Hydra. So you're going to need an ice uh, key, and you're going to want to open one of the ice chests in the dungeon, and it just gives you a nice little... I forget what exactly it's called. Uh, it doesn't count against your minion summoning, he just sits there and attacks people for you. So I'll just I'll show him off. Let's see if we can find someone. If we turn off our Sardis Dragon. There we go, some signs. If I put him there. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Look how cool he is. Oh so, yeah, this has been my summoner's guide. If you have any specific questions about how to get these items, the Terraria Wiki is always a great resource. Otherwise, feel free to leave a like down in the description below, and if you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing. I promise it'll be worth your time, and stay open to watching my videos. I mean, hey, if there's anything you want to see, especially with summoners, because I know a lot about the summoner class, or if you want to see me fight the Moon Lord once I finally get around to doing that, then hey, let's you can do that. So thank you so much for watching, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!